We wanted something that the locals when they eat it, they're mesmerized about the memories of like the old dishes, how it's been done, and how Singapore has evolved in a way. Our food basically showcased that as well. work after tippling, we will take a taxi home, right? So I always go, hey uncle, uh, Aukang Avenue 7, then Aukang Avenue 8. For the restaurant, I named it Project uh, Avenue 78. And Alex came about, he's like, hey, we are born 87, right? Why don't you just switch it around? I was like, wow, good, huh? Okay, can we try? <laughs> Weekend or weeknight after school, we always go to Aukang Street 21's Tsis uh, Ha store. We sit there for like three, four hours just talking about what happened. This uh, this where the fish head curry uh, snack came from, the idea. During our Shatek days, we love to go McDonald's. Just sit there for hours, talk about projects, eating, eating McNuggets. And we always order the 20 piece nugget because it's, it's never enough. Then in Dipling, we always hang out for supper. Our favorite is the Feng Shan Market. We call it the Bodo 85. That's the, the fancy, good, nice bunch of is. The one on the right. I like the one on the left. <laughs> The PIP idea basically comes from what we used to like to eat. So I was thinking, it's like, hey, why not just use something with uh, some curry? I just need to do like some saute vegetables, like eggplants, uh, uh, ladyfinger, and then just do up the sauce. And then, wow, this is one of the best I ever created. all love sambal stingray in Singapore, right? You have the chinchalo, you have your sambal. I needed this sambal on the menu also because uh, first menu, I need to say thank you to my mom, my mom's sambal, but uh, it's a bit plain and you don't eat it uh, by itself normally. You you buy like the kangkong from the other store and you eat it together, right? So we're trying to make it all together in one dish. When we started this Avenue 87, we wanted something that we hold very dearly about the cuisine as well. So the locals, when they eat it, they're mesmerized about the memories of like the old dishes, enjoying that kind of experience. It's like, hey, I came across this restaurant that is very interesting because it's that take of the classic local dishes, yet it's so modernized and full of surprises in a way. Mm -hmm. 